Hello, all my artists out there. Um, we're going to take a little time today just to look at how some of the different colored uh, drawing materials work so that it can help you kind of make a decision as to which materials best for your specific drawing. So starting off in marker land over here, let's say you want to use marker pretty much for your entire drawing. My recommendation to you probably is to outline whatever your pencil drawing is first with a Sharpie marker, either a thin or a fat Sharpie will work great. And then your marker pretty much is going to go into your area um, in a solid color. Now, as you know, markers can kind of get a little bit streaky and sometimes they go out of the line. So I recommend going around your area first and then coloring inside of that space to minimize streaks. Um, the lighter the color is, the less it's going to streak. The darker the color is, the more it's going to streak on you. So just keep that in mind, okay? Um, next up with crayons, and we have lots of different crayons you can use, the construction paper crayons, um, the twistable crayons, it's really up to you. Crayons are great because they're really fast. Um, they're also great because you can overlap the crayon. So you can take one color into another and blend it really, really nicely. Um, you can also use crayons uh, by changing your pressure. So you can have like an area that goes with a value change where you start off really, really lightly and then start to push a little bit more and a little bit more um, as you change your value, which is, is a great thing about crayon that you can do in color. Um, colored pencils are wonderful for um, people that like to have a lot of control with their work. Um, we have the twistable colored pencils, which are great because you don't have to sharpen them, but if you twist them up any more than, let's say there, they break very, very easily on you. So colored pencils are great because you can get into all those nice little tiny areas and the color comes out nice and bold. You can also overlap these. Um, and some kids like to outline first with their Sharpies and then put the colored pencils inside. But they do, um, if you get colors that are close to each other, um, on the color wheel, you can really blend these really nicely as well. So I'm just gonna show you real quick and change my value as I go up. I get lighter and lighter and lighter. And then let me try to find another, maybe we'll try to blend this nice little peachy color in. And I can blend those two colors together to get a nice color mixture, okay? Oil pastels are probably the messiest of materials, but they are fun because they give you a lot of color really, really quickly. Um, when you use oil pastels, you don't have a nice um, fine point. It's kind of a blunt point. So um, try to go around the shape you wanna get into first and then fill the space up. Some kids like to push really hard on their oil pastel so they get a lot of dark color. Um, other kids like to, you know, just very lightly almost get a crayon look from their oil pastel, it is up to you. Oil pastels are one of my favorite materials because I can go and mix them very, very easily from one color into another, especially because there's a lot of variety of colors and you can blend, for example, like here, these two greens together and then even take another color that's close to it on the rainbow like this blue and blend those together as well. So this is a great material if you have a lot of color changes, okay? Um, finally, I know some people are working on darker paper. If you're working on a dark blue or a purple or a black, um, oil pastels are also a great option for this. They will look a little bit different than they do on the white paper, but you can still get lots of intense um, color with the oil pastel and mix them too um, on the black. They actually mix really nicely on the black paper. So that's an option. Um, the construction paper crayons, which actually is what I wrote with on this paper, you can go ahead and use these. Even the darker colors will show up pretty nice for you. Um, so you can try those on the black paper. This is a good option if you like how this looks, but you don't want all the mess all over the, your fingers from the oil pastel. Um, and then finally, I, the, the regular color pencils will work um, on the black on the dark colored papers, but we also have metallic colored pencils, like if you're doing maybe like a robot or a building, um, and those colors will come out 
um, just a little more intense than the regular colored pencils will. So I hope everybody um, is, you know, having fun making their art. And hopefully this helped you decide what materials you're using for your color drawing. Good luck, everybody. Yay!